Hello friends. Today we are going to create a collage using your Google Drive and the pictures that you were supposed to find for the quarantine photos. So the first thing we're going to get, do is come over here to this little square. And we're going to go to photos unless you saved yours in a drive folder. I saved mine in, fold, in photos, but you might have saved yours in a drive and put them in a, fo a folder somewhere. So I don't have mine in there. So I gotta go back to Google Photos. Then we're going to go over to this little thing right here. This says for you, click on that because it's for you. Then we're going to go to collage. We could make any of these other things, but today we're making a collage. Once you get to where your photos are, I'm going to create a collage and I'm going to choose between two and nine of the items. Now you only had to have between three and five, but I picked a lot more pictures because I did a lot of things. So I'm clicking as many as I can up to nine. If you try and click an extra one, you won't be able to create. You can only have between two and nine. So we'll cl click create and it is creating your collage. Now, this is an important step. You need to come over here and more options. Do you see this little button right here? So more options, we're going to download this little guy right here. There it is. I can show it in the folder. I could copy to clipboard, but really you download it onto your computer, then you are good. The next thing we need to do is to go into Seesaw. I have mine pinned right here, but you may have to open up your Seesaw app like this and click on Seesaw. And now I'm in my test class so that I'm not adding a bunch of extra things to y'all's class. I'm going to click the little plus button, click post student work. Go down and add file because you've already got the file on your computer. So click file. And then this right here is my collage. Now I need to add the text. So if we add this little button right here, it's going to give me a text box. Now notice how whenever it's this little cross X thing, you can, where'd it go? Let me try that again. Come back. We're going to type a few things. Um, then we'll, I'll show you how you can move, move it around. So I want it to say all of the things in these pictures that I did for quarantine. For quarantine, I turned trash into art, comma, a palette Oops, palette has two L's, into a table, wrote, nope, not wrote, made mini postcards, and had a treasure hunt with my students. Now it's way too big, so I'm going to click on this guy. This is how I can move it around, right? I'm going to make it get smaller. I want to make it get wider so that I can move it to the shape that I want it to be. And maybe a little bit smaller. Oop, come back. Click. Click on it. Where is it? 
I lost it. Hmm. There it is. All right. So I wanted to try and get a little bit smaller or maybe move it around. Move it on my way. There we go. Now, I'm just clicking the little arrow buttons. I just want to move it out of the way of the pretty pictures. And yeah, there we go. Now I can get a little smaller. I don't want it to block anything. So I'm going to arrow it down a little bit, put it in a spot that is not very interesting so that it's not covering any good stuff. Put it in front of my postcard here. Okay, and there we have. Now I'm going to click the very important little check mark. And now I have to select me. I'm a sample student. That's who I am today. Click. And this is what it'll look like. Of course, I or Miss Gandy will have to approve it first. But this is my quarantine art. All right, it's so easy as that.